Warning. The following events were performed in a closed range by trained professionals. Do not attempt to recreate or reenact any of the events performed on this show. Welcome to Bullistics, where projectiles go head-to-head -head with common and often messy household items. Competitors will endure spectacular hits, shocking spills, and magnificent splats. The round that makes the mightiest impact will be crowned champion. You can help choose the winner by voting for your favorite contender in the comments. The epic competition begins now. Here are your Ballistics hosts, Danny King and Corey Romero. I'm Corey Romero. And I'm Danny King. Welcome to Ballistics. This week in our main competition, we've got 45 ACP shells going head to head with cans of biscuit dough. Afterwards, we'll move on to our feature event where we'll pair off a 12 gauge slug versus 14 pounds of jelly. Stick around because you don't want to miss it. If you're not familiar with common calibers, Here's a lineup of some of the rounds we'll be using on the show. All of today's competitors are from the 45 ACP family. 45 ACP cartridges have been around since 1904 when they were designed by John Browning. Projectile weights range between 145 to 230 grains or 9 to 15 grams and they normally travel anywhere between 800 to 1300 feet per second. Our 45 ACP competitors will face off against cans of biscuit dough. If you're from a region that doesn't have cans of biscuits, they're basically a type of morning roll. They pair nicely with uh, sausage, gravy, and jelly. Cans of biscuits were invented in the South by Lively Willoughby in 1931. Uh, Lively created a pressurized or patented a pressurized uh, foil sleeve, which was later marketed by Pillsbury. <laughs> Okay, enough of in the studio, let's move on out to the range. Our first contender is the 185 grain plus P Super Bell jacket at hollow point. Lee Juris pioneered the jacket at hollow point and formed Super Bell ammunition in 1963. In this scene, you can actually see the ricochet of the bullet bouncing off the backstop and dancing across the table. Our next challenger is the 174 grain Underwood Max Expansion. The Max Expansion is an all copper projectile produced by Lehigh Defense. Next up is the 185 grain plus P Barnes Tack XP. Our fourth contender is the 165 grain Federal Guard Dog. Up next, we got the 230 grain SIG V Crown. Our final competitor is the 230 grain Federal Punch.
Another ricochet can be seen in the slow motion footage. The biscuit dough must really slow the rounds down. Okay, so that concludes the competition portion of today's show. If you'd like, you can vote for your favorite competitor in the comments down below. And if you forgot to jot down the name of your favorite competitor, don't worry. We'll do a recap right after the feature event, which is coming up next. That's right. And in today's feature event, we've got a 12-gauge slug going head-to-head -head with 14 pounds of jelly. A 12-gauge slug is a 72 caliber projectile, which means that it's bigger in diameter than the well-known 50 cal. Uh, well, not as long and not as fast. It's the same diameter as a 20 millimeter Vulcan. Let's see what one of those things can do to 14 pounds of jelly. We put a container of icing on the table to give everyone a better idea of how big the container of jelly really is. Why a container of icing? Well, because we didn't have a banana for scale. It's a lot of jelly. was a lot of jelly. Wow, that was amazing. A 12 gauge slug versus 14 pounds of jelly and it went everywhere. Absolute destruction. Whole new meaning to the term purple rain. I am so grateful for those screens. We didn't include footage of the cleanup. It, it, it was pretty gross. Uh, but I really think every ant anywhere that lives close to that table loves us. <laughs> yeah. If you like this week's featured event, then you're definitely going to want to join us next week. We've got a 460 Smith & Wesson. Going up against an ostrich egg. Not just any ostrich egg. It's a jumbo ostrich egg. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ding that bell to make sure you don't miss it. We must really like cleaning up terrible things. And before we get out of here, here's a quick recap of the competitors from the main competition. Be sure and vote down in the comments for the round you think did best. And also let us know if there's any special items you'd like to see on future episodes. First, the 185 grain plus piece Super Bell jacket at hollow point. Second, 174 grain Underwood Max expansion. Third, 185 grain plus P Barnes TAC XP. Fourth, 165 grain Federal Guard Dog. Fifth, 230 grain Sig B Crown. Sixth, 230 grain federal punch. So, that's our show for today. Thanks for joining us on our first episode. We hope you had as much fun watching the mess as we had making the mess. I'm Danny King. I'm Corey Romero. And we'll see you next week on Ballistics. Thanks for joining us. Let us know in the comments if there are particular household items you'd like to see on stage. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons if you'd like to see future episodes. Join us again next week for more fun and adventure.